How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be covering one of the most important and effective optimizations you can apply to any PC. Regardless if it's high-end, low-end, old, new, Windows 10, Windows 11, Intel or AMD, a laptop or desktop, the main purpose of this optimization is to fix micro stutters you could be experiencing even in games where you have incredibly high FPS and major FPS drops. This is caused due to Windows game bar presence constantly being opened or requested by applications and games whilst you're playing. This is something I apply to all of my systems systems and recommend everyone at least gives a go if you are experiencing any of these issues or just looking for a potentially smoother experience in any of your favorite games. And there's a big important update for those of you that may have applied this optimization before coming right after this sponsored message. Pookie's Black Friday sale is now on. Over the Black Friday holiday sale period, you can get even lower prices on Windows 10 and Windows 11 product keys. As you can see, the system I'm currently utilizing has Windows 10 Pro, but it's not active. Utilize one of the links in the description down below. Here we have the Windows 10 Pro OEM key and the Windows 11 Pro OEM key. Once you're on the product, navigate down to buy now, then go to the bottom to sign up. Then put an email address that you want the key to be delivered to, then select sign up, navigate down to the promotion code and utilize PAN20, then select apply. This will ensure that you get the absolute best price possible throughout the sale period and throughout the rest of the year. Navigate down to submit order, select your option, go down and select pay now. Give an order confirmation, navigate down to the user center, navigate down to view order status, scroll down slightly further to get the key. You'll then be given your window 10 or 11 product key, go all the way from the right hand side to the left, right click the entire key and select copy. Navigate down to your Windows button in Windows 10 or 11, then type activation settings. You'll find the option to be able to change product key. Then press Ctrl and V or right click to paste the Windows key, then select next. You'll then be given the option to activate Windows and after about 10 seconds your key will then be activated. You'll have full access to all of the features for Windows 10, Windows 11, Home or Pro depending on which key you decided to go with. If like me you've purchased a Windows 10 key and you're looking looking to make an upgrade over to Windows 11, once you've activated your key with inside of Windows 10, you could then jump into the Windows Update settings and initiate the upgrade to Windows 11, where you'll still be fully activated. Thanks again to Hookies for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to utilize the links in the description down below and code PAN20 at checkout. This optimization was covered on the channel roughly two years ago at this point, but there have been some major updates to this. If you happen to have applied this optimization and have run any system repairs, applied any big Windows updates, or upgraded to Windows 11, it's more than likely that this optimization would have reset itself back to the default value and could still be causing issues on your system. So if you've seen the original video, consider this a refresher and an updated guide on how to do this, or if you've never seen anything on this before, definitely something I'd recommend that you give a go to see the performance results on your system. Remember, at any time, if you decide you no longer want to utilize this optimization and revert the settings back to the default settings, you can do so with just a few clicks of a button. It's really simple and easy to do. If you'd like to set up a system restore point, go to the bottom, type restore, then select create a restore point. Now get down to your local disk C drive, go down to configure, turn on system protection, go to the bottom, select apply and OK. Then go down to create, then simply name the restore point. I'm just going to be calling this game bar, but you can name it anything. Once completed, select OK. You then have a system restore point you can use at any time after this video if you forget on how to change anything back or can't find the video again. So to apply this optimization, navigate down to the Windows File Explorer. On the left hand side, go over to this PC, then find local disk C drive. We then need to go inside of Windows, continue to scroll down until you find system 32 and double click. We then need to go to the right hand side and type in game bar. You'll then be able to find the game bar presence writer.exe. To fix micro stuttering in many of your favorite games, we need to rename this application so programs can no longer send it requests to constantly be opened. By renaming it, it stops the directory path for the application being accessed, which means no more micro stuttering. But unfortunately, due to this file's location, you can't actually just rename it by default. So we'll need to do a few steps to get around this. Right click on the file, navigate down to properties, go to security, navigate to the bottom to advanced, go to the top to owner, then then select change. Inside of the box at the bottom, we need to input the Microsoft account or username for our Windows account. If you're not entirely sure what that is, you'll need to navigate down to the Windows button in Windows 10 or 11, right click on your account, then select change account settings. If you have a local account, it will have a username. If you have a Microsoft account, it will have an email address. This system has a local account, so I'll just be putting in my username, which is RPL. If you had a Microsoft account, you'll be inputting the email address listed. So my username is RPL. If you had an email address or a different username, you would input that into this box. Go to the right hand side to check names. The name you typed in will be altered slightly so it matches the Windows file system, then select OK. You'll want to remember this username or email address for your account because we will be typing this out a few more times throughout this video. Select apply, 
okay, okay. We've now set up our user account to be an owner, but we still can't take control of this application just yet. Right click on the application once again, navigate down to properties, head over to security, then go down to advanced once again. At the top of advanced settings, the owner should now be listed as the Microsoft or local account you input earlier. We then need to navigate down to add, go to the top to select a principal. We then need to input the same account name or email address we typed out earlier. For me, that is RPL. Then select check names, then select OK. We then need to select the box for full control at the top, then go down to OK, apply, yes, and OK. Now that we have taken ownership of the file and assigned full access to our account, we now need to change the ownership back to its default setting. Do this by right clicking on Game Bar Presence once again, going to Properties, Security, Advanced. Go to the owner at the top and select Change. The only difference this time is that we're not going to be typing in our username or email address. Instead, we need to set this back to the default Windows ownership. And you can do this by typing in NT space service with a capital S backslash trusted installer with a capital T and I. You can copy and paste this from the description down below. Once this is typed out, go to the right hand side to check names. Once you select this, this will then be changed over to trusted installer. Then select OK. Go to the bottom to apply. OK. OK and OK. At this stage, we've now changed over everything we needed to. What we then need to do to stop applications accessing this constantly is just rename it. Right click and select rename. For those of you on Windows 11, you'll select this small icon. All we then need to do is go to the end of the file name and then just type in any random numbers or letters. It doesn't have to mean anything. Press enter and select continue. Select yes to the file operation and you've then successfully completed this optimization. There is also an alternative method to apply this same optimization through the Windows registry. This isn't for everyone, but I personally like to do this as well as the first method to just ensure that this is never running on my system. You don't have to do this, but if you would like to follow along with this step, all you need to do is navigate down to the Windows button, type reg edit, then press enter. On the left hand side, go to H key local machine, then go down to software. Scroll down slightly until you find Microsoft, double click, then scroll down once again to the W section. We're looking for Windows runtime. Once you find this, double click, scroll down once again to activatable class ID and double click. We then need to scroll through a few keys until we find the windows.gaming section. You'll then find windows.gaming.gamebar.presentserver.internal dot presence writer double click then on the right hand side we have the activation type which is set to one to turn this off we simply need to change activation type from one to zero type zero select ok nine times out of ten you're more than likely going to get this error to get around this go back over to the folder on the left hand side for game bar presence right click on this then select permissions go down to the bottom to add we're then going to type in that username we typed earlier on so if that's your email address or your local accounts username type that out go over to check name on the right hand side once again then select OK. Make sure that your username has been selected then go down to the bottom to full control and select allow. Select apply. If you have another error stopping you from making this change select OK. Go down to advanced. Go to owner at the top and select change. Type the username or email address once again then select check names then select OK. Go to the bottom right hand side select apply and OK. Reselect your username reselect the option for full control then select apply and OK. Go back Back over to the game bar folder, go over to the right hand side to activation type, change this from 1 to 0, select OK. You've now successfully disabled Windows game bar via the Windows registry as well. Remember at any time if you want to revert this change, just jump back into the exact same position in the Windows registry, go back over to the activation type, change it from 0, which is off, to 1, then select OK and you'll be back up and running on game bar. At any point, if you would like to change game bar presence writer back to its default settings to allow applications to access it, all you would need to do is right click on it once again, go to rename and just remove the random numbers and letters from the end of the application's name. So it's then just set back to gamebarpresencewriter.exe. Once it's changed back over, it will then operate completely as it would with a default system. At this point, whether you've just applied the first method or both methods, restart your PC, jump back into some of your favorite games and see how you get on. You should notice a much smoother and less stuttery experience. Even in some games which only have a small jitters here and there, you should see a drastic improvement. Let me know in the comment section down below how you've been getting on utilizing this optimization. You can always check out the playlists section in the description down below to find further optimizations for all parts of your system. Or if you're not entirely sure where to go next, check out one of the two videos on screen now and remember to utilize WhoKeys and code PAN20 to get the best deal possible when getting a Windows key.